Okay. And now this block right here is notorious. Yeah. Yeah, this told them the, the migrant situation. What you think of it? What you think of the migrant situation? Huh? No, no, no. I'm, I'm in front of y'all. Y'all ain't on there. It's crazy. They can hear me? No, they can hear you. They can hear you. Yeah, nah, it's He's definitely looking at crazy. It. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Queens, New York, has the most migrant shelters. Once again, I repeat, Queens, New York, out of all the different boroughs, has the most migrant shelters in New York City. What's going on? And there you go, there's another one right there. Another migrant shelter. How you doing today? You rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. I'm letting you check out some migrant shelters here in uh, Queens, New York. This one right here. And this one is interesting because it has locals, homeless people, and it has migrants all in one place, which the news never says that. The news never tells you that they mix them together. And the more and more people I talk to, the more I hear about this. So that's one right here. Let's walk over to our favorite Shelter in Queens. This is like a mega shelter. It's a block away, or one street away, two streets away. So we walk in there. And once again, don't forget. Let's see, there you go, there you go. Don't forget you rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. All right, let's go. All right, let's keep going. And it's right down the street from the other shelter. Like I said, this is the first street we're walking by. And that one is back that way right here. And it should be coming. coming right here but as you can see it's another shelter right here I didn't even notice this one it's another shelter right here you see the notorious scooters they everywhere it's one right here I didn't even notice this I walked by this a thousand times never even noticed it let me let you see the scooters with no plates <laughs> the scooters with no plates and everything there you go one right here boom all right let's go on to the next one now this is the big boy coming up man they got they got they not got they have new york looking like a third world country now boy all these scooters there i ain't never know these many scooters in my life But well, the hotel vendors, they, they, they graceful, they're gonna make money. But I mean, eventually these hotels have to go back to being normal. So, it's gonna be a lot of damage they're gonna have to repair too as well. Cause I know these people are not keeping the hotel up like if they was a regular hotel guest. Here we go, man. This is a, one of the areas right here. This is a big one right here. Let's just see what's going on. Let's walk over this way. Okay, you got a nice scooter you got there. Uh, we'll sit on this side today. Scooters. 
people hanging out. But this is like one of the main ones right here. This one right here. You know what I mean? Places. I feel like I seen this lady yesterday at the other place, but this is. Look at this, man. Look at this. They everywhere. 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 But this is like one of the main places right here. This is like a mega one. Like I said, it's like, I'm going to count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 15. 15, um, 15 floors at this Holiday Inn. It's a mega shelter right here. As you can see, this is where your tax dollars go on. Then you guys know what's going on with everything. I'm going to just walk by and make my way to the next one. But this is it. Somebody with a bike right there. This is the entrance right here. going on every day every day Look at this man I can't make that up and this is it right here this is in Queens New York this is in uh I want to say Long Island Queens on the border of Astoria Queens right here So we passed three within a couple minutes of walking. We done passed three migrant shelters. The mayor of New York needs your help. Yes, you, you in the camera watching this video. Yes, I'm talking to you, Every, everybody that's watching. The mayor said, the mayor of New York, Mayor Adams, he needs help placing the migrants in different places. And they're thinking about putting them in uh, tent cities. So they're looking for land or space, wherever they can house the migrants. So if you know a place where they can house the migrants, let us know. I know you want to say deport them, but not all of them going to get deported. Even in 2025, when a new president come in, it's still not going to happen like that. So they're going to have to have a place to put them. So if you know where, where you can put some migrants at in the New York area, let the mayor, Mayor Adams from New York City know, because they're struggling right now, man. And this is not all his fault, and this is not all the fault of the governor of New York. Like I said before, this is a, a this is a White House problem. It just, you know, fell off. It got pushed onto uh, the mayor and the governor of uh, New York. New York State. So it's a lot of problems. A lot of problems going on, man. So if you know a way that you can help these guys alleviate that stress and alleviate this problem help them out man but that was three we passed three in a matter of a couple minutes hold on where i'm trying to go i'm confusing myself uh, right here this is another one right there but they said this was a regular shelter right there they saying that one that i'm pointing to right there this building right here they said it's a regular shelter but what i'm starting to learn most of them house uh, migrants as well. So I don't know why they say that. They've been mixing them together in some places, not all places, but some places they've been mixing the migrants together with the locals, just to put that out there. And I've talked to people that work at the front desk and they have told me this. So this is not like I'm just talking. And you, I, I got receipts, you can uh, check me on this. I have receipts and you can check me on what I'm saying right now. They mix some of them together. I mean, I understand New York got to do what they have to do. That's why they're trying to do the tent, the tent city situation. I get it. I get it. I understand why they're doing the tent city situation because it's getting out of control. And then as you see right here on the right, this is a hotel that um, is still under construction. Look like it's completely, mostly done, but let's look inside. Bye. To me is. They still working. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. I don't know if you can see it in there, but uh, it looks like 80% done.
Okay. This definitely will be a hotel. If not a hotel, apartment complex. But I'm guessing for this neighborhood, a hotel because hotels are everywhere. Okay, hold on. Let me see where I'm at. Then here we go. What we're walking at right now in Queens, it's going to be a couple of migrant hotels because you see the military see one of the soldiers going in one of the buildings right now but i'm just keeping you up to date let you see what's going on and this is in the long island queens area right here so today so far we saw three we could really say four because there's a there's another shelter there but they said that was just for locals but like i said they mixed them so this is migrants are staying in here this one right here that's the u.s military got the security everybody right there they all here relaxing uh these are the notorious uh scooters these are the scooters This right here. He's everywhere. As yes, you can see. See, this is like locals and migrants all put together, if you ask me. And then this is another hotel right here, as you can see. So, we got the US military right here as well. So, there's a lot going on. So that was one, that was just two. And right here, this is a Marriott, but this is not a migrant hotel, but it's a Marriott amongst all these migrant hotels right here. This is a, a Marriott, and this is just a regular Marriott right here. Okay, now we're walking up on um, the notorious Queens Bridge. Walking up on the notorious Queens Bridge uh, housing project harmonize well he don't live there no more <laughs> mob deep they don't live here no more rest in peace to the the one member that's in heaven right now from mob deep uh we crossing the street so i'm just giving you like a little quick hood tour but that's uh the projects where Nas is from right there and Roxanne Chante is from there as well. I didn't know what he was doing. Man, look at the struggle, it's real, man. Look at this, man, the struggle is real. I don't even know what's back there, but I just figured I'd show it to you. Oh, hold on, let's stop and look through here. Maybe some homeless person lives back there or something, you know. You never know. You never know. It's an abandoned building. I'm sure they would have used that for a migrant place if it was working. But yeah, the mayor is going to turn, trying to find some land and some space for the migrants to live in tent cities because they are um, they out of space. They're completely out of space right now. And it's rough on them right now. They're completely, completely out of space, so... It's real in the field, like they said. It's real out here in these streets in New York, man. So I'm going to walk through this other area real quick. Show y'all this other... Um, this 
place as well. And that's the projects right there. Queens Bridge projects right there. Is this it? This is where I make the left. Okay. And now this block right here is notorious. Yeah. Yeah, this told them the, the migrant situation. What you think of it? What you think of the migrant situation? Huh? No, no, no. I'm, I'm in front of y'all. Y'all ain't on there. It's crazy. They can hear me? No, they can hear you. They can hear you. Yeah, nah, it's He's definitely looking at crazy. It. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, shit is they, locked up. This whole area is loaded up. Everybody over here at parties every night. I know. They cook all this food on the street and all that. Wow, all wild. through this area? They cook yeah. everything? Wow, it's wild. Hey, all right. They gave me a little. Appreciate you, man. This is one of the spots right here. Let you see what's going on. So I'm just passing through today. Yeah, this neighborhood has more migrant shelters probably than other any other neighborhood. Queens, I'm gonna say Queens. Let's just be transparent. Queens has more migrant housing facilities, shelters, whatever you wanna call them, than any other place. This is one of them right here. And that's one behind me. And that's the projects, you know, just doing my little walk and letting you see what's going on. There ain't really too many people out, but you see, you see the scooters and stuff. I'll let you see the scooters. <laughs> you get a trademark. It's the scooters and everything. So you can see. Scooters out in front of here and everything. Just to let you see. Just to let you see. <laughs> That's one of the spots right there. Everybody just hanging out. And I think if I'm correct, that's a facility for them too as well. If I'm correct. And they serving food and stuff for the migrants across the street over there. Gotta make money so they gotta do what they gotta do. But this is a facility they're making, selling food. This is it right here. You got the bikes, the scooters. Right there, I see U.S. military in there as well. Definitely the ones with U.S. military for sure. See it. They always, it's always the security. It's always a couple, two or three military, and then it's like security all the time, all the time. The security is military as always. Security and military. They see me, but they ain't coming out. They like, forget that. But this is it right here. I'm investigating, let you guys see what's going on. And, um, yeah, Queens, Queens. Yeah, this neighborhood of Queens, man, right here, it's so many different uh, migrant facilities. As you look up right here, the, bro, we passed them buildings already, but that brown building right there, uh, behind there, not that building, which that one is a shelter too. That's actually a shelter too, so I know migrants are in there. They told me they wasn't, you know, like nobody tells you the truth around here. But if you look back, that was the uh, hotel that we went to, the Holiday Inn. This is the area, man. This is it. This is it. This is it. The Notorious Scooters. This one actually has a license plate on there. It's a rugged area right here. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna cut off the camera. It look a little sketchy right here, so I'm gonna cut off the camera for a second. All right, I got the camera back on. Sometimes you just gotta play it safe, man. 
you know, people don't know when you do these videos and stuff, you're actually putting your life on the line and anything can happen. So you got to play it safe. You got to be smart. Anytime I feel something wasn't right, I cut it off. Just a bunch of people hanging out across the street. The camera wasn't even on them, but uh, it didn't seem like the right type of people, the right type of vibe. So I was just like, let me not uh, take any chances. So right now we walking towards, uh, what is it, uh, 21st Street. Uh, that's some migrant shelters right there as well. I don't know if you see, I don't got time to walk over there. That building and that building right there. I told you, this neighborhood is, has the most migrant shelters. And all of uh, New York, Queens. Queens, Queens, New York is where the most migrant shelters. Let me say it again. Somebody just tuning in, man. Make sure you get a video like. Make sure you share the videos. Support your boy, the one and only Philly Dom. Queens, New York has the most migrant shelters. Once again, I repeat, Queens, New York, out of all the different boroughs, has the most migrant shelters in New York City. What's going on? And there you go. There's another one right there. Another migrant shelter. They say it's just for um, homeless people, but I went by there the other day and they couldn't even tell me. I said, is it homeless? Local homeless? Well, migrants, they couldn't tell me, but I'm starting to find a trend that not all of them, but some of them have migrants and locals. So I'm going to go right past it with the camera. And once again, guys, please find out the rules and regulations as far as me uh, recording. Because every time I record in front of one of these places, they get all panicky. They don't want me to record. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy situation. Man. And if I'm correct, which I am, some migrant shelter right there and there's one right there as well. Right there in the back, if you can see it, the two brown buildings. I've been there before. So we're trying to figure it out. And here we go, we got one right here. This is uh, another building, migrant shelter or, yeah, I think it's a migrant shelter and a, uh, uh, regular shelter as well. All right. It's a migrant shelter or a regular shelter? Huh? Is a migrant shelter or a regular shelter? Boy, shelter? Huh? Shelter. Shelter. Okay. All right. That's all they tell me is shelter. They never tell me like if it's a migrant or a regular. So they must be mixed in there as well. All right, guys, I think that's it for now, man. Please share my video, support the channel. I'm gonna keep pushing these videos out, keep doing my thing as much as I can. All right, let me pass these people real quick. Once again, what do you think of the mayor trying to get um, tents and have tent cities for the migrants? What do you guys think of that, man? Leave a comment. Tell me about the camera situation, why they always stressing me about recording with the camera and everything. Let me know, man. Let me know how you guys feel. I greatly appreciate it, and it would mean a lot to me. 
So just let me know how you feel about that. Across the street right here. I'm going back home. So once again, see you guys in the next video. More and more videos to come from the one and only Philly Dom. And just tell me how you feel about this migrant situation. And what would you do if you was in charge? How would you fix the problem? How would you alleviate this problem? And don't say deportation, because not everybody gonna get deported. Some will, but not everybody. So some people made it here, they're here for the, on the, for the long haul. So you let me know how you feel once again. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And once again, I'm gonna say it for the last time, more and more videos to come from the one and only Philly Dom. Peace out.